Hey friends and welcome back to the studio and let's dive into our very first OpenAI Codex and Flutter tutorial. Alright then, first things first, what is OpenAI Codex? Well in simple terms, it's a set of AI models that translate natural language to code. What that simply means is that human readable instructions or commands written in a natural language such as English are converted into a programming language that can be understood and executed by a computer. This set consists of two models. Uh, there is a Code Da Vinci and Code Cushman 001. For Code Da Vinci is mostly used and most capable, but Code Cushman is much faster than Code Da Vinci and it's more capable and ideal for real-time projects. The output produced in form of a programming language is what's called the code completion. Codex models support multiple programming languages from JavaScript, Go, Perl, PHP, Ruby. We'll be using Node.js in our tutorial. You can give it different types of tasks as you can see. Most commonly turning comments into code which is a feature on our famous GitHub Copilot. OpenAI gives us an easy way to interact with the model using their inbuilt playground feature on their website. So you don't have to create a new project first for you to experience the engineering behind this model. Also, there's an option to view code and you can also view code of the prompt you have created in the different languages. Uh, currently, this is Node.js and also you can copy the code and add it to your project instead of writing it from scratch. You also need to know that you can also fine tune. You can also fine tune this model to give your own personal touch. Please head over to my Instagram. The link is down below to understand more on some of the terminologies that will be used and is currently being used in this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you the basics of OpenAI Codex and how to use it using a simple coding AI application that we'll create. I'm also going to show you how to dynamically execute code completions uh, that we'll get and play around with design. By the end of the course, you should be in a good place to be able to, con to confidently integrate the Codex model to your own Flutter projects. I have created uh, course files for every single lesson in this series. You'll find it here on OpenAI Codex Flutter Tutorial Repository. I'll leave the link to this down below in the video. If you want to check out the code for a specific lesson, please select the branch section from the select a branch from this drop down. If you want to download the zip folder or a particular lesson, just go to code and download zip. So that's about it. I'll see you on the next one.